All right, hello, good morning. Uh, this is Otis Landerholm, and I wanted to explain some of the stuff that we're seeing out of Florida, and specifically the Florida Bill 264 that Ron DeSantis has signed into law. This, what I'm sharing on my screen right now, is from the American Immigration Lawyers Association, of which I'm a member, AILA, we call it. And several clients and things like that have heard about this in the news. Of course, I've read about it in the news. Sometimes the news gets it right, sometimes not so much. Um, so I like to rely on sources like AILA, organizations that are of lawyers and that understand the law to get really good information about what it is, what it says. So what this says is on May 8th, 2023, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signed Florida 264 into law. And the law will become effective on July 1st of 2023, unless that gets delayed by litigation. It puts some restrictions on land ownership by what he calls, what, what Florida law is calling foreign principles from foreign countries of concern. And what they list there is China, Venezuela, Syria, Russia, Iran, North Korea, and Cuba. What that what this law is doing is it's prohibiting foreign principals from those countries from owning or acquiring agricultural land in the state or from owning or acquiring any interest in real property within 10 miles of any military installation or critical infrastructure in the state. And there's kind of a summary of the major provisions. There's an exception here for de minimis or indirect interests. If, some, if somebody from one of those countries owns 5% or less of a business that owns property in Florida, then they're not going to worry about that because um, they call that de minimis uh, uh, or an indirect interest. Talk about how they define critical infrastructure. I won't go through each of the provisions. In addition, though, there is this additional prohibition for property ownership by citizens of the People's Republic of China. And so this says that the law will prohibit China, the Chinese Communist Party, or other Chinese political party members or officials, Chinese business organizations, and persons domiciled in China, but who are not citizens or lawful permanent residents of the United States, from purchasing or acquiring any interest in real property, even like a condo or even a house. That's uh, a piece of the provision which many groups are filing lawsuits about. You know, Governor DeSantis calls it, it says down here, but uh, what it says here is that the bill, uh, stupid, I call it ignorant, right? Cracking down on communist China, like even calling it communist China, for me, I lived in China for two years. There is so much capitalism that happens in China, you have no idea, all right? You walk down the street in China, there's, there's commercial sales transactions happening all the time. Um, so to even label it still communist China is like, there's, there's just a, um, the languaging has ignorance built in. It's a two party system, right? It's, there's capitalism that happens where people can buy, sell, but there's also communism that happens within the political, anyway, rightly so, Asian American communities, the Chinese American Legal Defense Alliance, the ACLU, and others are challenging this law, saying, yo, this one is discriminatory, potentially violates the Equal Protection Clause of the United States Constitution, and likely violates the Fair Housing Act, which is there to pro prohibit against discrimination in the ability to buy houses. Various people are saying that, you know, the, this, this law is racial, racist, uh, discriminatory, um, creates a stain on our nation's history, things of that nature. So anyway, this is a little bit about what's happening in Florida, and we'll see as this uh, litigation moves forward whether or not this law passes any of this litigation. Some of it might pass through, some of it might get axed. I just wanted to kind of share a little bit about it. I saw this summary posted, kind of give my take, and, sh and um, I appreciate Ayla for putting content like this out, and I just wanted to share it 
uh, with our clients <clears throat> and with, with the world. So uh, thanks so much for watching. I'm Otis Landerholm, Landerholm Immigration, APC, where we fight for your American dream. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye-bye.